I have here a Foxpeed Jump Starter Portable Power Pack. And it claims it works on vehicles, motorcycles, watercraft, lawnmower, and yachts. I'm going to highly doubt the yacht aspect. They draw a lot of power. I mean, a real yacht. My father-in-law had a yacht. And it had a lot of batteries. I really wish I could test that yacht thing, but father-in-law doesn't own a big yacht like that anymore because he moved and I think he just got a small watercraft, but uh, nowhere near me. So unfortunately I cannot try those, but I do have this little kid's bike right here, you know, 50 CC that I'm charged up its battery. But I figured, well, this is a good opportunity to probably, I could wire this in and see if it turns this over and for how long. It comes wrapped, and it's a nice box. They did a good job on the uh, packaging. So they have a good packaging person. It says 100 amp, 12 volt. You have a power switch here. I did open it because I charged it up. It was pretty charged, but I wanted a full charge, right? Out of the box before using it. It has two USB and a input to charge it for USB-C. And then this little cover here, it's a rubber cover, covers the ports for the jumper cable part. And then it has a light. And so to turn the light on, push and hold the button. Oh, sorry, has on off switch. Gotta turn on the on off switch, lights up. Now you can hold that and the light comes on. Hold it again, light goes off. We'll turn it back on. And you have a strobe that you could use that for a distress signal. I'm just clicking once and it has a few different modes, flashing, different flashing, and then the light, and then just hold this button and the light goes off. And to turn off the unit totally, just turn it off. This is like a rubberized coating. It feels really good. Capacity says 47.36 watt hour. Start voltage 12 volt. Start current 500 amp. Peak current 1000 amp. Input 5 volt 2 amp. Output 1 is 5 volt 2.1 amp. And output 2 is 5 volt 1 amp. Lifespan 1000 times. Made in China supposedly the different ratings and what have you so it does feel nice this whole thing feels is that rubberized plastic material it feels good in your hand and then under here they do give you a USB-C cable that's very short but you get that this is what the battery came in and then here's the jumper this is the plug you plug it in I'm assuming it's like a capacitor in here and there's information back here like jump cable connect, jump start is right, ready to connect to the car battery. So there's LEDs and it will tell you one LED, one LED, green, all connection is right, start the engine. So after the car started, it goes back to one blue and then remove the jump cables. Jump starter power is low please recharge so one blue one red in I guess a sound I'm guessing a, there's a capacitor in this because it, it's, it's it's good size so we will see if I can get that hooked up to here and if I could just try starting the bike without that battery it's a weird battery so I, hopefully I can make it work I'll show you why it's weird this connection right here but I'm still trying. I'm just trying to drain that battery down. Um, it, it attempted to start. I thought I actually had it. And then it didn't start. So. Well, let's give it a boost. I'll just go ahead and hook it up now and see what, what happens. Okay, I went through it. I rehooked it up. The light is green. And let's see what happens. Oh wow, that starter is getting a lot more juice now. It's 
still green. Oh, I think I, maybe I drained it too fast. I don't know, maybe it needs a little break, but the green light went off, but you heard that. That thing was supercharged. Uh, it's green down there. Man, it's really spinning that starter. Now we're back to the lead acid. As you can tell, that little pack is spitting in that. It's just I think I need to take the carb off and clean it. I think that's what's wrong. I already changed the gas, but who knows? You know, it's one of those things. It's probably best just pull that carb off, check it out. So I'll have to do that one day. But anyways, you can hear that this starter pack does work. And I'll go ahead and disconnect it. And one thing I like is when you dangle it, they designed it so the ends wouldn't be hitting. That's a good feature versus like, you know, traditional charging cables and stuff or jumper cables. They always touch and you have to spread them out. That's a nice touch. That way they don't touch. The lights are in here. And all you do is snap this out. Well, if I can do it with one hand. There we go. Catch it with my feet. And there we have this. And if I turn this on, oh, I've only used uh, two attempts to try a start. I've only used one bar of power. So I have three more. So this does quite a bit. And I actually think it's probably the capacitors that are in here that are giving it the oomph. But you heard it. It really, really does uh, spin that starter a huge amount. So if this bike was typically running how it was last year and I didn't have it sit for well two years now I guess then it would probably start it so my fault not this jumper box so fox feed fox feed right there I'll provide a link in the description and we'll check this out more like on other vehicles and stuff but just to do a quick video of it working and getting it and all that this is what comes in the box and this is how it does speed up the starter so it does give a huge boost so it seems like a pretty good product so thumbs up to them on that and uh it'd be a good product just to have along even if i just use a lot for a power bank it's just a good another power bank to have and on longer rides this isn't that heavy i could pack that in have a jump start you know and a little spool of wire just so you can get to a weird connector yeah i think that's gonna work so hopefully you like this video gave you some ideas on what to carry what to maybe buy just to have on hand have a good one stay well stay safe my friends bye